And we're back, guys. Tennis in a minute. I'm your host, Get Energy. We have a story to discuss. Now, this is still making news. I'm sorry I didn't cover it when it happened, but I felt it wasn't anything big, but it's still making headline news on all the major news outlets and sport outlets. We got to get into this. Corey Coco Golf finally snapping and having words with the chair umpire. This is the first time this has ever happened in Coco's career. Trust me, I follow all of her matches. She lost it. Now she went up to the chair umpire and she had words for the chair umpire. And listen, the live broadcasters agreed with Coco. Most people agree with Coco. I have to back up a bit. Now, Laura Sigmund, she's a veteran, but all of the times I've seen her live this year, she's had issues with the service clock and she's had issues with the chair umpires giving her warnings and penalties yes every time i've seen laura play live this year she's had issues with the chair umpire so if you're not familiar with laura's game and the controversy and all of the issues she has repeatedly with chair umpires then I don't know if this conversation for you, but if you're familiar with Laura, then you know she always has an issue with every match. This is like, you know, for those of you that watch, um, you know, old basketball, or I'm not sure who does this in the new league, but yeah, in the new league, like Draymond Green, he's always got an issue with the refs. Dennis Rodman in the old days always had an issue. You know, football, the guy named Sue always got an issue with the ref always getting penalties laura is kind of like one of those players on the tennis scene she's always having an issue with the chair umpire now in this particular issue if you're not familiar laura was taking a lot of time to grab her towel wipe her sweat we know what she's doing she's an older player she's trying to slow down the tempo Right. If the pace is too fast, she's going to get blown away and just hit off the court. She did it in qualifiers against Ocean Don and Ocean Don had smoked her the first set. She came out, won the second set with the bagel and the third set. She slowed the match down. Now, depending on your style of play, slowing the match down can have numerous advantages for you. Right. You get your you get the chance to recover. Uh, we we saw someone, a top 10 player, Simona Halep, multiple Grand Slam champion, suspended for taking a banned substance that literally helps her recover in terms of her breathing and her lungs flow of oxygen. It gives her an edge, right? If, if you have increased blood flow and you're able to, you know, if you're able to suck in more oxygen to recover quicker you know preventing you from getting more tired than your opponent that's an advantage this is also an advantage stopping play so you can rest and recover she was doing it all match and coco was upset not only was she doing it but the chair umpire was not giving her a warning or a penalty and the chair umpire started adjusting to how she was calling the match. So Coco stated the chair umpire, whenever you score a point in tennis, the chair umpire, she hits the button, updates the score, and then she announces it. Coco was saying the chair umpire wasn't announcing the score until at least two, three, four, five seconds after the point, adjusting to Sigmund's antics right that's another advantage so now Sigmund is getting into the mind of the chair umpire now Coco's noticing this because it's holding up her serve right so Coco goes over and she tells the chair umpire look you're not calling the points up until five seconds after it happens you're now giving her more of an advantage right and Coco's telling the chair umpire it's not like I'm playing fast these are two shot rallies. Now, aside from the 30 minute deuce, that was a long service game. The rallies are only two to three shots. So Coco's like, there's no reason for her to be this tired. Now they have the cramping rule, right? You can't, you can't receive continuous medical attention for cramps. Cramps is something that you should be able to deal with as a player by hydrating yourself and being ready to play. 
This is an example of that, where someone's kind of finding a work around the rules and bending the rules to their advantage and getting in the head of the chair umpire. This is why most people agree with Coco and think Coco was right. Did you guys watch the match? What do you think? This was pretty embarrassing for Laura to do this in front of the first lady, Michelle Obama, and Barack was there as well. This was historic, guys. A ton of celebrities there. A year ago today, Bill Clinton was here at the match as well. I saw him because it was Serena's um, celebration day for her retirement. Listen, guys, Laura, it's unacceptable. I just think it's unacceptable. If Coco is operating within the rules she's grabbing her towel wiping her sweat within the service clock i mean look you got you got 25 seconds that's a lot of time now laura was saying that by the time she gets ready to get her towel the clock's at 15. laura you gotta speed up your professional athlete run over there jog over there now you saw when Iga got her penalties she was running and jogging to get her towel change her racket change her rackets running to beat the three to four minute bathroom break rule you saw her put an emphasis on following the rules and not getting a penalty i felt after the violation laura then came over and watched the video guys i have the video on my page i did show laura complaining to the ref laura is saying please have some mercy we just had a, a, a 30 minute 30 minute service game please have mercy all of the chair umpires they have mercy on me you're not having mercy you're not taking it serious because you're laughing at me please have mercy laura is look she's a poker player okay she's gaming the chair umpire she's gaming coco and the reality here is i think it's it's a dirty veteran tactic. Now, a lot of the veteran players, they do small things like this to get an edge so they can recover. When you're playing someone fast and explosive like Coco, you need every opportunity you can get to recover. Now, this is where I will side with Laura and possibly giving her a break and a, maybe a few warnings before the violation, which the chair umpire did. Coco said, look, you literally watch her do this for two sets and you said nothing about it enough is enough this is where i'll give laura a break she came through qualifiers playing on the side courts where the towel bin is literally just a hop and a skip away that's where i'll give her a break playing playing on arthur ash which i don't i don't know if this, this is probably her first time ever playing on arthur ash it's a much longer walk so that's where I'll give her the break. But here's the problem. Here's the other argument that Coco has is look, the, the service clock is on the first serve. There's no clock on the second serve. So Coco's also arguing to the chair umpire. She's doing it on the second serve and you're not saying anything. The first and the second serve or she'll skip the first and do it on the second serve so there's no clock. Coco's like, you enough is enough and this is where i appreciate coco and i think her new coaches are like her new coaches said she should have spoke up earlier now you're seeing the coco that's fired up if she's going to win a grand slam she's got to be fired up like this because this is what arena sabalinka does arena doesn't care who's watching she's yelling she's screaming even Iga at this point gets pumped up and fired up and angry coco's gonna have to use that aggression that anger to benefit her play she has not done that she's always been america's sweetheart kind and classy she's gonna have to get fierce like she did tonight if she's gonna win the u.s open championship what do you guys think was coco right was laura right who was wrong was the chair empire wrong did she handle things poorly on her watch and did the ladies embarrass michelle obama let me know who was right, who was wrong. Tennis in a minute. If you listen this far, like the video. Let's have an adult conversation. Be respectful. Get your point across without insults. My personal opinion, I think it's about time that Corey spoke up. Laura does this all the time. Anyone that watches tennis know it. Coco, it's about time. I think she's arrived. She might even win the U.S. Open.